Hello, my name is Reza Farche. I'm a practicing endodontist in Chevy Chase, Maryland, which is a suburb very close to Washington, D.C. I'd like to show you a clinical case highlighting three objectives. First is proper case selection, which can't be emphasized enough. As clinicians, we need to be aware of our limitations and capabilities in order to deliver optimal care to patients. Second is the superior efficacy of Qmix irrigation solution. It is used as a final rinse in each working canal for one minute. The solution contains a chelating agent which aids in removing dentinal debris created during instrumentation. It also contains an antimicrobial component which is beneficial in ridding the canals of bacteria that may have persisted during the procedure. Finally, this case will be operated using gutter core. Gutter core is easy to handle and ensures the delivery of warm gutter percha throughout the entire canal space. In this case, we deemed endodontic treatment to be necessary on tooth number five with a diagnosis of symptomatic irreversible pulpitis and symptomatic apical periodontitis. A well-angulated radiograph initially will help the clinician visualize the canal anatomies and determine whether the case exceeds his or her clinical capabilities. Having this honest assessment inevitably helps in order to avoid problems during treatment. Here, we can appreciate that the tooth has two canals but it is unclear at this point whether the two canals merge in the apical region or if they have discrete apices. Nevertheless, this case should not pose a problem for a clinician who is comfortable performing endodontic treatment. In the video, we're picking up the case just prior to obturation. The canals have been cleaned and shaped appropriately, including a final rinse with Qmix 2-in-1 irrigation solution. Size verifiers were placed and a radiograph was obtained to ensure the correct size for the gutter core obturators. Once we take the paper points out, you can clearly see that the canals look extremely clean. There is no white residue or film in the canal space, which is an added testament to the efficacy of Qmix as a final irrigation solution. When operating using gutter core, it's important to block one canal with a paper point while working on the other. The reason is, the canal spaces have isthmuses, creating a communication between the two canals. Gutter core has such a superior movement of gutter percha laterally that you could have gutter percha flowing into the other canal, preventing you from obturating the other canal adequately. You place the gutter core obturator down to the appropriate length. Within a few seconds, you very easily just twist and rotate the handle, and with relative ease, it breaks off. You're left with just excess gutter percha. However, you can rest assured that a dense three-dimensional fill has occurred throughout the canal space. After using the same approach with the other canal and removing it, you're left with some extra gutta percha and a little bit of the stock of the gutta core carrier, which is also made of gutta percha. You can use a spoon excavator to easily tease that off. This is why gutta core is superior to all of the other carrier-based obturators. Then you can use your favorite plugger to compact and condense the warm gutta percha towards the appropriate canals. This leaves you with just some excess gutta percha around the orifice. You can use your favorite solvent to remove it and clean the chamber. A final radiograph is taken to confirm a uniform, dense fill to the radiographic apices. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this short video. I will see you again soon for another Chair Time video.